Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Four years ago I made a video called The Mystery of the Balochistan Sphinx after seeing an article published on Graham Hancock's website written by Mr Bibu Dev Misra. He highlights a section of the rocky landscape of the Makran coastline in southern Balochistan in Pakistan, which he calls the Balochistan Sphinx. Misra believes that what we are looking at is a badly eroded Egyptian-like sphinx, complete with facial features and also an Egyptian Nemes headdress, however unbelievable that may seem. He also pointed out reclining forelegs and paws. I made that video when YouTube and the mysteries of history were really just a hobby for me. I can understand why many say it's just a natural geological formation, but I still gave Misra's hypothesis my consideration, and that's really because he brought forth more observations in the vicinity. He highlights a possible well eroded temple, complete with entrance hall and vimana. He points out a smaller shrine, pillars carved into the temple's boundary wall, even the actual entrance into the temple, which is behind a large accumulation of sediment. And just when it all sounds too good to be true, there are also apparently two eroded gods carved into the temple's facade. In all honesty, the visual evidence is a bit crappy. You can see more in a magic eye picture than you can on this outcrop of rock. Seriously, pause it. Tell me what you can see. In isolation, each apparent rock cut structure is a stretch of the imagination. But together, the fact we see a big rock that looks a bit like a sphinx, next to a big outcrop that looks a bit like a temple, which has features that look a bit like what you would expect at a Hindu temple, well, altogether it did make me wonder. But there was always one enormous problem with the Balochistan Sphinx. We only ever saw it from this angle, and nobody is going to carve a huge sphinx on top of a hill and make it two-dimensional. For the past four years since making the video, I had pretty much dismissed the whole hypothesis. I was convinced it was of geological and not archaeological interest, and I believed that the reason we only ever saw the so-called Sphinx from this angle was because I assumed that Misra and others already know that from other angles it doesn't look anything like a Sphinx. That was my assumption, but I had still never seen it from any other angle. Well, until this weekend, when historian Dr. David Miano of the World of Antiquity channel posted a link to this video on Twitter. I don't know how I've missed this video until now. It was uploaded in October 2018 and only has around 8,500 views. The footage belongs to lovemypakistan.com and I've left links to their channel and website in the description below. All the pictures and footage you see belong to this website. The video is of great interest because it shows drone footage of the Balochistan Sphinx and not just from this angle, but also from this angle. And this angle. And this angle. And here we can see the reverse side. The footage clearly and safely rules out Misra's hypothesis that this is a man-made carved structure of the Sphinx. Furthermore, when you look at the whole area from above, it doesn't take someone with a degree in geology to see that this is clearly all part of a large natural formation. The Balochistan Sphinx reminds me of the Bosnian Pyramids, not because they look alike, but because both are amazing natural wonders, but instead of humans trying to stamp their mark on them and cobble together some elaborate hypothesis, we should just respect them for what they are, the work of nature, like Giant's Causeway, the Eye of the Sahara, Rainbow Mountain and so on. In the description below, I've left links to my previous video, as well as a link to Misra's article on grahamhancock.com, but thanks to lovemypakistan.com and also to David Miano for posting the link, I really think that this is another mystery solved. From this angle, the Balochistan Sphinx looks incredible. 
it still fills the mind with wonder and intrigue, but we really should enjoy it for what it is. The entire region of the Makran coast is littered with odd natural rock formations, and the reason we find them is because of the high seismic activity of the Makran coastal fault, together with natural weathering and erosion. I could make a full video debunking every claim that's made by Misra, from the historical context to the morphology, but there is already a fantastic website that tackles the claims one by one, and it is highly compelling. I've linked this in the description below. The reason I'm not going into it in this video is because it's all somewhat irrelevant, now that we've seen the Sphinx from all angles. It is a natural formation and nothing more, and I can't see any way back for the idea that this is a man-made structure. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.